Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you a change that we did inside the call functions on chat completions because it's a pretty big one. And it's basically built on simplifying the entire, um, basically the entire action. We have built a separate action called function generator, which allows you to dynamically generate any kind of function that you like to with any number of parameters that you need to capture. So previously in the call, uh, call function on chat completions actions, we supported up till five different kinds of parameters. But in case you need more, we change that. We remove that, uh, basically that generation of function inside this chat completion, and we move that towards the function generator. So how does this work? If we take a look inside, you will be able to give your function a name, right? Make sure there are no spaces in between. So you can set it, for example, like this, appointment details or connect it with an underscore. That's totally up to you. But the function name needs to be, uh, basically needs to be one word without any spaces in between. Then you have the function description. And here we have the function parameters. These parameters can be inserted by comma separation. So whether you just need to capture one specific parameter or maybe 10, 15, maybe 25, does not really matter as long as you output it in this format. So you have parameter, uh, you have parameter one, then a comma, parameter two, and then a comma, and so on and so on. Now for the parameter descriptions, it's also crucial to have the exact same format and you need to have the exact same number of descriptions as you have parameters because we need both of them to generate a successful function, right? So if you miss one of them, you will get a, you basically get an error returned that the number of parameters does not match with the number of descriptions. So check your input again. In this case, we have parameter one, which is name, or a description one, which is name of the user, email, email of the user, date, and then we have date of the appointment, and then time, time of the appointment. I'm going to save this towards a JSON field, and then from this JSON field, we're going towards the chat completion here, and inside this chat completion, as you can see, this drop down with all those parameter names, descriptions, types, and stuff like that have been replaced to just this input, functions JSON. Also added a note, generate a JSON from the function generator action, right? To be able to have this inside. So just insert your saved JSON field, and then you can set up your system message like normal. You have your prompt. In this case, I, I'm using a question field type input because I set that on my question note as such. And then you have the regular output. So the AI response will be, will be going towards this custom field. We have the history, which will go towards this JSON field, we have the status, which is important to check whether or not we captured all the parameters. And then if we did so, then this function complete JSON will be filled with all the parameter details. Now, if we're going to test this out, so let's preview this, right? Already did so a few times just to make sure everything is working correctly. Well, let's do it again. So let's say, uh, hey, my name is Mark and I would like to book an appointment. One parameter has already been captured, which is name, and now it should state what is the email address. So let's say, sure, it's mark at markvenomate.com. Now it should ask for the date. So let's see. Okay, may I have the date you would like to set for the appointment? Uh, I would love to book for December 15. And then last but not least, it should ask for the time as well. As you can see, it's pretty fast as well. So let's say, what would you prefer for the appointment based on time? And uh, let's say, let's do 9 a.m. And if all goes well, we should now receive a JSON output. So that's, this takes a little bit longer. So let's see if we get something returned. And there we go. Name, mark, email, and then the date, December 15 and time 9 a.m. So this simplifies the entire process of creating a function and also solves the issue that if you need more than five parameters, which we only supported up till recently, right? To be able to just go towards the function generator action to generate the number of parameters required and uh, by comma separation and do the same for the description because this will match the first description given. And then after the comma, we will match this description with the second parameter, right? So I hope this new update helps you in generating more advanced kinds of functions. And if you have any questions, do let me know.